Well, hello there. We continue our Animate to Muse mobile series by starting in Fireworks. We have to create the assets, and I use Fireworks for that. You can use Photoshop, but I think you'll see why in a minute why I prefer Fireworks. So I've got my Fireworks page open. You can see that it's about 1200 by 960, just a normal web page size. I've got a big background image with a blur, which I put a filter on it. And where this thing really starts to shine is actually right here in the layers panel. I'm just going to turn off all the content here and you'll see why. What I've got here is a 960 grid, so I can accurately place everything on the page using this grid. And you can get that by opening up from a template right here, grid systems. And there's the 960 grid and it opens in the background. Now this is non-printing, which I just absolutely adore. The other thing I did, of course, was I put everything in its own layer. So by doing that, uh, everything that I need to output will have its own layer. The other thing I did was because I'm using mobile, I have a web page here, and then I had the strips that I'm going to use in the mobile, and this is more of a placeholder than anything else. So I just put those on a separate page, and of course, these are the strips that I'm going to be using in Animate. I'm going to be outputting them. So the page here has got a content rotator, but it's more of a placeholder, just so I kind of know where it goes. And I've got all these images. So how did I get everything out? Well, the first thing is the text. I don't need the text. I can put the text in using Muse. So I really don't need the text layers. So I can take the text out if I want. What I want, though, are the images right here and the background image. And what I did here was I actually turned this into an image as well. So how do I get all this stuff out? Well, you go to File, Export, right here. And you can see there's Layers to Files and Pages to Files, which is kind of neat. So I can take Layers to Files, trim the images, so that means that when these little tiny images are output, they're not this 1200 size, they're the actual size of the image. So I'm saving space there. And I can output them as PNG images or JPG images if I so choose. I can also do this with the mobile page, and I can also do it with the Animate page. And this makes it really easy for Animate because I get individual PNGs that can just drop in. So when I click the Export button, this whole thing, the whole document exports out as a series of images that I have chosen. Now the key to working with Fireworks is, again, working with the layers. What you need to know is that everything must go in its own layer. And when you export the layers, name them, because the images that are in the layers will actually pick up the layer name. So there you go. That's how I prepared the page for export to Muse, or for use in Muse, and prepared the page right here for use in Animate. In the next exercise, what we're going to look at is taking these three images and putting them in motion in a manner that will be ready to go in Adobe Muse.